So I thought I'd do a bit of a house plant tour, the plants that I have in the house still. A lot of mine are outside for the summer. I'm hoping for some crazy growth, but this is what I have left and they're all kind of crammed into the window because uh, my house is pretty dark. As you can see, I've got a, I actually have a lamp that goes over them during the day. But here is my Sansevieria Soraya. She's beautiful. I actually have two of them. And uh, she's actually starting to bust out of her pot, I noticed today. So I might have to transplant her. And I have my Philodendron Birkin, who I actually noticed is not as white. The leaves aren't as variegated white since I moved her out from below the grow light. So give her another month and I'll probably throw her back under there. I want to see if I can get that white back. Under here, I've got my bird's nest, Dracaena, Sansevieria, whatever we want to call it. Then I have a few more, and I'm totally blanking on the names right now, so we're just going to let these snake plants go. In the back, I've got a couple propagating. If you can see in that jar there, and it took months. I was almost about to give up, but I got roots. And then I have my Jacqueline, who was on the brink of death. I totally did not take care of her at the beginning, but I put her into Lekka and she had nothing. Now she's got a beautiful leaf. And over here, really, really tiny is a Cebu Blow Puth, Cebu Blow Blue. I can't say the word. Pothos, that's actually rooting. I'm excited about that. And then here I've got a Mangave, Mangave, Agave. Oh my goodness, I can't even speak. Agave cutting from my daughter's plant that's doing really really well i have a little aloe here that's again a propagation and then i've got some pothos in the back that are also propagated there's they're in water and i've got a haworth i don't know if that's the right name but grown massive i've actually had to up potter I'm really excited and she's got a little baby somewhere there it is. Isn't that cute? And then I got my Prince of Orange, which I absolutely love. I'm not crazy about this, so I'm likely going to put her in a pot shortly. Um, this guy, I can never remember the name. Jade. Sat Jade Satin? Satin Jade? <laughs> anyway, he's adorable and he's growing a lot. You can see the new growth. I was a little concerned about him too, but he's coming to life. Up top here, I've got a beautiful Rojo Congo that is going crazy right now. I've got a bunch of golden pothos in water that I'm going to decide whether I want to stake up, put in a pot. I'm going to figure that one out. Um, and then down here, there's my other Soraya. <clears throat> and... This was my daughter's Kalitha that died. I'm hoping we get a miracle and something comes back. I can't even remember which Kalitha it is. This back here. Look at him. He's so cute. Again, another one that was on the brink of death. I don't know what's wrong with me. And then I've got this little guy here. I don't actually know his name. He was a cutting from my daughter's. But he went from nothing to like crazy. I'm excited about that. My Peperomia Frost, which was another propagation from my daughter's plant that just took off. And then my Syngonium in the back here, he's kind of hiding. And that's my front window. Now I'm gonna go over to my dining room. All right, so here's my dining room. A couple Ikea fakes. Hey, you know what? Easy maintenance. Um, these are just the res leaves that were left over from the flowers my kids got me for my birthday. And then I'm, I think this is a wandering Jew. I've had it in water forever and it really does wander. I'm thinking about potting it up and seeing if it's real potential, but it just hasn't happened yet. Uh, back there, there's a eucalyptus that actually died. And now I'm just keeping it as a decoration. I've got my Hartley philodendron. This guy's pretty new to me and he's beautiful. I can't wait for him to fill out and get bigger. And then back here, I have a parlor palm, which I absolutely love. He's adorable, but I can't wait for him to get bigger. 
And down here, I think this is the Marble Queen Pothos. She's really growing and I love her to pieces. Don't you love all your plants? Anyway, back here, I've got another Golden Pothos that I staked up. And uh, kind of hard to see her because she's hiding behind this tree, this plant here. This, this one here, <clears throat> I thought it was an Imperial. Please tell me what it is. Now I'm wondering if it's a big Rojo Congo, but I rescued it from a nursery. It actually had um, scale and it kind of looked like this. So I've rescued her. She's looking really, really good. Though so her leaves need to be cleaned again. But this is what she just gave me. This is absolutely brand new and I wasn't sure if or where any growth was gonna come from, but that's it, that's exciting. So yeah, these are the few plants. I have a few in my office that I'll do another tour for, but these are the few that I have. And be sure to comment if you like. Can you tell this is my first video? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to doing more. Please leave some comments. Let me know what you're interested in and I'll see you next time. Bye.